name is Marshall Sade. I uh, do real estate. I've been doing real estate for over nine years. But so the money's out. Yeah. Uh, I went to performing arts school in high school, and that's Me when too. I fell in love with acting. Me too! Yes. <laughs> so I was that's doing dancing and acting at my performing arts school. So that's when I fell in love with the passion. So I, I had this plan that I was going to chase real estate so that I could be financially stable. So that I was able to chase my dreams as an actress and not be a struggling actress. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing real estate? Over nine years. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. um, my mom was in the game. She's a broker. Mm -hmm. uh, I was on the investment side and then I got my real estate license and then I've just been making money. You were doing real estate while you were 13? You were so young? No, I'm 26. <laughs> I've been doing real estate since 18. You're a lot to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing it since 18. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, acting is really um, my passion right now. I've been putting together my own productions as well as auditioning as well. We do a lot of nudity. So I was like, man, I can't wait on this opportunity because I'm constantly missing jobs because right. I didn't have to decline this audition. Because my first time on camera, I don't want to be seen as, oh, that girl that got smashed or, yeah. you know, she, because my, um, I got an audition from Tyler Perry. He said, hey, you're going to be forced to have sex in front of a cult. I was like, what? That's uh, going to be humiliating. No, for the ruthless. I would have been the first one in line. Yeah, I auditioned for Oval too. <laughs> Ready, <laughs> but, active. I know, but I just. Uh, your your kid early. is like a boy or a girl. A boy. You have to prepare them for certain things, but I can understand. I've had to have simulated sex, and it was uncomfortable. I mean, don't get me wrong, later on in my career, I don't mind, but right. me just first coming out, it's just like, I don't want to be characterized as, okay, let's just put her as the yeah. girl that's getting smashed or always having sex or always naked on camera. Yeah. I want to, you know, really take my career far, like, I want to play, like, superhero roles, yeah. like, I really right. want to, you know, take it there. Right. And it's crazy, because Megan Good um, experienced that, I believe, early on in her, relate, um, in her career you know it started i believe ease by you was her debut and she was like the daughter it was like you know ease by you really um touch bases on family incest and stuff mm -hmm. like that have you guys seen that before i haven't seen that yeah but she was um had sexual encounters with samuel jackson i think that oh. she was 14 years old on there then you know she was delicious or whatever not delicious but um Beautiful on um, you guys served. That was a very mm. sex appealing role, and then biker boys, mm. and all of this. So she um, kind of like stopped accepting roles. That's why her career kind of, you know, I, I don't want to say it went down drain or whatever. But she, I guess, her really started limiting her roles because that's what she was known for. Because she's so sexy. You know what I'm saying? So question. I mean, that didn't work out for Steve Urkel. And what you <laughs> acting? Has everybody in your he ain't got no roles. supported you? I um, forgot all about that news. Actually, I had to earn that. Like, from my mom. My mom, she's just not jumping on board. She's like, you're a star. And I'm like, mom, <laughs> you just not jumping on board. Like, I know I'm a star, you know. Right, right, and I right. had to just believe in myself in order for, you know, my family members to jump on board. And then they see my talents. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah. you have a star, you know. Right. Hey, <laughs> so what, what was, like, her breakthrough, breakthrough to seeing that, you know? Oh, uh, when she seen me acting and doing different scenes and she actually seen me act, she was like, oh, damn, like, you know, you're actually a natural, you mm -hmm. know, and then I was getting a lot of feedback from a lot of people that were in big, higher levels in the acting industry and they were, you know, come giving me that stamp, like, okay, you're good. Mm -hmm. We just gotta, you know, that's why I'm marketing myself, I'm pushing myself, and mm -hmm. now I need to put myself in, um, in a good place with a manager that can market right. me well. You know? He just said the same thing. Yeah. He literally just and said from the there, thing. it's history. So yeah. So when I, I before I interviewed Bree Lee, um, from, what, what were we just talking about? Ambitions. Ambitions, yeah. Before I interviewed her, she was actually at an event, and she was saying that she did a lot of her own leg work first yeah. before yep. she signed up because and and it's crazy because i'm seeing her in a lot of movies that are on netflix and that i didn't even know was her but she said that she was booking those things by herself and christian key said the same wow. thing yeah. he yep. was like you know you don't want to just jump out here and get an agent and do all of these things and you're paying somebody else your money 
And you're exactly. not even making the money that you're paying them. Right. Exactly. Well, an agency only gets 10% of, you know, what you get once you book a role. But the thing is, they did say, when uh, when I went to an acting seminar, I think his name is Lance Camarillo. Mm -hmm. um, it was in Norcross. Anyway, he said that, you know, even as an actor, you st um, when you get an agent, you still have to do your homework and you still have to find your own gigs. You can't just depend on them. solely on the agency. Mm -hmm. And it's right. crazy because I'm already doing this. So yeah. when I get an agency that's not an uh, agent, that's not going to stop, you know what I'm saying, the leg work and the footwork that I'm putting in to find my mm -hmm. own um, things. It's just, I think that the reason why I met some people may get um, comfortable once they find an agent is because once you become SAG, you cannot take like a lot of you can take low budget you know and non-union projects but then again you i don't think you can i'm still learning mm -hmm. but i you know because you're now you're on a higher caliber mm -hmm. so you can't really be sitting up here accepting any and every audition mm -hmm. a lot of these auditions that we have easy access to are not sag eligible or sag pro um sag projects mm -hmm. so you know so do you guys i'm gonna ask you about this because i most of the auditions that I've had, they've been on camera, mm -hmm. like at right, my house. Tape. Yeah. Tape. So, do you prefer those over actually sitting in front of somebody? Yeah. Um, I Sometimes. like both, but I definitely like presence more because I've always gotten that, oh wow, you look better in person, or your right. persona yeah. and your demeanor is a lot better in person rather than over Instagram or yeah. social media. It so is. I think that. Presence is everything, really. P.E., Marshall, Sade, on all social media platforms. 